All right, chapter two, um, clothing and equipment, section three, tools and appliances and not. Six, two, six, the tools and appliances and equipment needed for the firefighting vary greatly and according with the situation. The firefighting tools and appliances discussed in the section includes no hose and hose, to hose tools, ladder special tow tools such as axes, pry bars, groups, <coughs> wrenches, couplings, connections, salvage equipment, and lights. It's important that a firefighter be familiar with the tools and appliances that he may use. In addition, with itemizing and identifying with describing the type of equipment used in this section allows the explain operations safely proceed with the friendly maintenance that apply with each of the type of the cool tool appliance. 2-7. Hoses. Hose layouts um, subjected with any degree of the high pressure allows the potential source of the danger may contribute to the failure of the operation. Accident failures caused by the discharge lines can be prevented with the firefighter well trained in the proper use of the hose lines and complete the test and inspection of the hose lines related with equipment as are more periodically. Types, um, A types, five types of the hoses are currently being used in the Army, such more than wild, 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 more than widely than others. The most widely used in the cotton jacket, jacket rubber lined hose, two and a half inches and one and a half inches size. Um, any other type of use of the rubber cover hose, rubber, um, rubber lined hose, usually cooperative, smaller in dimensions, used in finishing lines of the booster lines and high pressure hoses. The third type of the rubber lined hose, wire reinforced hose, the operation was rigidly and essentially. Um, the fourth type of the hose is unlined line linen hose, which is light and pliable and more, not immediately watertight. The five, fifth type of polyester hose, the hose is m made of lightweight day crown with a pin or rocker plug uplings. It comes in standard with a 50 foot length or in one and a half inch to two and a half inch diameters. B, care of hoses. Hoses is a vital firefighting operation. The care of the most mo must be the responsibility of every firefighter following that there are so some cause of the ill. Um, one hose damage, the hose damage is a general precaution to the handling of the hose. One dragging the hose along with the grounding of the frequently result of the cutting of the bracing puncture, the damage of the coupling and the thread and the lugs. Two, pulsation of the pump can, uh, um, cause the suction discharge hose with the section vibrate, um, with the chafes of the, the hot jack, hose jackets with where the hot hose touches. Serious hose injury result with the surface of the rough and hard, have and sharp edge of the damage that isn't pronounced near uh, in, engine had far away from the vibration absorbed by the elastic, elasticity of the hose. Three vibration must be an unannounced yet and uh, may weaken the hose so much of the details the relatively short to prevent the shafting of the boots it must be inserted between the hose and the ground of the effective points if the shafting boots are not available burlap with the roof um Rope conditions, any situation suitable may be used. The shafting boots um, consist of the pad, usually a portion of the salvage hose, which is strapped and clamped in the hard, soft, and suction hose during the pumping operations. Four hoses may be damaged in proper operation by the shaft, uh, shut off the nozzle. The closing of the nozzle quickly will cause the sudden increase of the pressure, which may rupture in the hose. The nozzle is open quickly. The back pressure will increase to 50%. The operator may lose control of the hose, which may inquire injury the personnel in addition with the damaging of the hose. Five, one of the most causes of the, of the injury and the result of the vi vehicles being driven over the hose layout series of damage it is less than likely. Um, when the hose is charged in pressure, when the hose is empty and under sufficient, insufficient pressure, the jacket may be separated from the lining of the hose, may be ruptured with the torn of the coupling. This type of the damage can be prevented, but, but the house bridge, the two of them should be in built and carried on with all the trucks and all the times after the hose lines are lighted, the, bridge li the bridges are placed over them to the desired specified spacing about four feet uh, apart. The standard bridges are not available. If standard bridges are not available, a suitable bridge may be set up with the materials found in the scene of the fire. A a simple bridge consists of a plank laid on, uh, on each side of the hose, that thing, uh, thick enough to keep the wheels from striking the hose. Um, six, when, um, when possible, hose lines should be stretched to the same side of the road of the fire. The line should be parallel to the curb, but not so that the curb that acids or oil floating down the gutter may commit into the contact with the hose. The water, when the street and the water area must be crossed. The hose should be laid on the same side of the street and the hydrant parallel to the curb and up with the opposite point opposite of the fire. They cross with the street and the fire equipment with the fouls and need to not travel. Figure 2A shows the hose bridge. Um, thus, the fire, firefighting equipment fault needs not to travel over the hose unless it is necessary to pass the fire side of the fire. 7. When freezing temperatures are common and frequently damaged with the rough handling of the during the winter, when the hose isn't frozen, 
when the hose is frozen, the fibers are weakened with the threads and they run lengthwise in the hose of the warp. A break in the hose will be caused if and not they handle it carefully. If the hose is frozen on the ground or street, move it carefully and chopping away the ice beneath it. Do not remove the ice with the remains, which remains stuck to the hose. Place the hose in the truck when let impossible, bending it and forcing it and taking it back into the station. After the frozen hose thaws out, it should be stretched out and washed and left dry. Eight fire hoses. Um, fire hoses should be not uh, should not be dropped because of the damage um, to the couplings. It's possible the hose should be carried with the couplings when the hose is carelessly handled with the exposed threads of the male and coupling may be damaged so that much efficiently connection of the female coupling is impossible. The female coupling is easily knocked out of the round. This must make some fifty foot entire fifty foot length of the hose unless it's layout nine. The fire hose is frequently unavoidably bound bur burn and fires. All hoses which have been exposed to the fire should be turned into salvage extensive. Damage is found with a considerable distance from the either of the couplings, either of the couplings where the damage is close. With the coupling of the, the couplings, the damaged portion may be cut off and the coupling replaced. Ten. If the if hot liquids penetrate over the cover of the hose, the lining is loosened seriously, weakening the hose. The chemical energy cannot always be prevented, with especially at fires, chemical dep depots, warehouses, and districts with almost impossible to detect the presence of injurious chemicals in water that may be flowing through the burning of the structure. Many acids have even, with when diluted, can st strain destroy the hose jackets. When acids should be damaged, is so suspected. Each link should be carefully examined and properly by for browning and powdery spots. The exposed portions should be washed and imitated thoroughly with a baking soda solution, then given a pressure test. Pressure test. 11. Petroleum products such as gasoline, oils, and grease that upon the coming into contact with the cause, with the hose cap causing rapid deterioration of rubber lining, dissolving the cement and loosening the linings of the jacket. When the single hose length of is used to having the exposed lubrication production, lubrication products of the lining tears apart and piles up. Piles up. On one end of the hose, this causes considerable loss with a complete stoppage of the water flow. Twelve, paint and paint thinner is equally harmful to the fire hose. Constantly, the paint should not be used to mark the hose. A thin application of an in, 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 indelible ink with aid or stencil should be used. Uh, hoses should be cleaned with a mid mild soap and water to a solution followed by the thorough re rinse of the clean water with a complete drying process to prevent mildew. Damp and dirty hoses should never be stored in house such as the day crown type of the not the mildew may be stored stored wet um wet and wet, warm in weather. C. Maintenance. Improper and incomplete maintenance shortens the life of the, of the hose may result in the hose failure at the critical time. The maintenance is somewhat complicated, be, complicated because the hose components present entirely dissimilar pro, pro, problems. Um, the jacket and rubber lining deteriorate with the age regardless whether or not, of the, uh, not the hose is used. The rubber and deterioration can be lined with the hose and not allowed with the dry rot. Um, not allowed to dry rot. Um, if the jacket is kept wet, it's subject to the mildew and fungus in which destroys the fibers. Keeping the rubber most of the cotton clean with dry re requires the frequent handling of the hose, which makes the coupling more liable to damage. D. Inspection and test. Fabric jackets, um, rubber jump, uh, rubber, rubber line hoses must be inspected daily after each use. Uh, one after each use after each after the inspection use the removal inspection of all hoses which is wet after the jacket fabric jacket is clean visually inspected but the coupling should be examined for the proper operation of the hose placed on the drying rack if there's the dirt and dampness in the hose bed with the remaining house should be removed from the truck and replaced by the clean and dry hose Two, all discharge suction hoses should be hydrostatically tested semi-annually to determine whether the, each of the sections can be withstand operating pressures up to six up to six lengths of 300 feet or of discharge hose may be tested at one time one and a half, one inch and um, one and a half inch two and a half inch double jacket cotton jacket rubber line hoses should be tested at 150 pounds of pressure the fabric jacket rubber line um, one and a half inch, two and a half inch hose should be hydrostatically tested at 250 pound pressure with for five minutes. The hard, soft, hard and soft suction hose should be tested at 100 pounds. The pressure of hard suction hose should be um, should be vacuumed. Tested at, at 11 pounds of the vacuum and pump the lining of the salmon with the defects all previously mentioned. The hose and inspection procedures are repeated together with a hydrostatic of the semi annual inspection. All right, drying. All hoses must be dried before being stored in the interior. The each of the length must be drained with of all the water which remains in 
and the house within the length of the end of the time to remove the sulfur from the butt rubber that's shown with the sulfuric acid solution, which could, can be drained with the carefully, carefully um, stored house, hose drying racks, maybe uh, of, of any size of the general arrangements, as long as they have a reasonable slope to encourage drainage. Um, F storage. Proper storage of the unused hose of an unused hose is a vital part of the housing maintenance to prevent the rapid deterioration. Of the hose should be stored in clean, dry, well ventilated location and out of the direct sunlight, away from the heating of the pipes and radiators. Heat and sunlight um heat and sunlight cause the rubber covers and linings to become hard and brittle. G. Replacing damaged couplings and salvaging hoses. Fire, and fire department personnel are responsible for replacing damaged hoses and couplings for the salvage. Damaged hose. Damaged hoses may be salvaged by cutting off the affected portions or recoupling them with the remaining portions. Not less than two thirds of the section should be recoupled, although then short lengths may be also occasionally for the purpose of the other than layout of the fires. Couplings should be removed and replaced as, fo as, fo as follows. One place the coupling of the vice and cut in the cut them with the expansion ring with a, with, a, with a chisel or some other tool. Two remove the expansion ring from the hose and the rubber gasket. Three cut off the damaged portion of the hose with a sharp knife and make sure that the end of the hose is square and smooth. Four place the end, expansion ring and the coupling. Five fight fight the fight the expansion of the ring inside the hose and the flush of the hose end. Six insert the hose of the coupling tailpiece. Seven and make sure the hose and the flush within the gasket shoulder of the coupling. Uh, using the expansion tool, expanding the rings until the lock firmly inside with the coupling. Several types of the expansion tools are manufactured with direction and using the specification for the pressure published by each of the manufacturer. Follow these directions specific specifications exactly. H. House records complete the records of performing maintenance and testing the basic parts of the MR maintenance program. The minimum records are filed, required for the fire hose are kept with the fire department and administrative personnel. One, each of the length of the hose is received and identified with the number of the stamps on, the, on its coupling with the same type of the recorded with the DA form 578. Instead of indicating the hose number, the type of the hose, the date received in the manufacturer figure 2219. Therefore, after operating and maintenance data are entered the regular Regularly on this form, and through two entries in, in include the date of the hose was tested, test pressure, remarks on the test, explanation of any of the hose failures, the cause of the date, and the date of any recoupling details, other unusual maintenance. Fire hose records are kept within the fire station where they're available. The immediate reference and addition copies of the testing reports may be kept in the daily report, daily department rec records. 2A, hose couplings. Using, uh, use. Hoses are issued in section fitted with the female threaded couplings at one end of the male with thread with the coupling at the other. The hard suction hoses are usually 10 by 14 feet in length. The hose lines may be made in the desired length of the coupling individual sections together for a five for a fire service. Use of hose and couplings uh, must, one, be easily quickly made up of the broken, made up or broken connected, disconnected, formerly watertight connection when the high and tight. Three, hands uh, hold securely when the hose is dragged or hoisted. Four, withstand damage of the form from dragging or dropping when, when coupled. Five by be be reusable damage the portion of the hose that is close enough to the end that can be cut off with the remaining of the portion recoupled. B type several types available for the screws type of the having the male coupling male coupling of the external threads with the swiveling of the female coupling with the internal threads the most be widely used coupling should be conformed to the national standard fire hose or NS thread NST um, for the particular size and hose they enable the hose to protect GVs interchangeable different departments working together on the fire ground the following are the sum of the couplings and connections one double male couplings are on, on connections um, this is form DA 578 for fire hose Hose record 510 the double male and double female um, couplings uh, consisting of a single space metal hose coupling that contains the two set of the exposed metal threads uh, the, um, the purpose of the double male connection is enabled to join to uh, two female connections which can otherwise be united Two double female couplings consist of two or three pieces of metal of the hose compulpling with the containing of the two sets of female threads. The double female coupling have only one swivel. The connecting frequently contains with a, um, only two pieces of the metal. Of the solid portion should be connected first to the double female coupling, which have the two swivel consists of the three part metal that is only um, optional, as in which the female should be um, connected first. The purpose of the double female connection is to connect the two male couplings to complete the hose layout. 
Three other type of couplings in so snap and together snap quarter turn and reducing the couplings. The snap coupling with the spring loaded with the clips and lugs is the female with the coupling with the clamp over the breaking of the female coupling and um, the coupling of the broken with the disengaged clips. The quarter turn coupling with the beam level lugs the coupling at each end of the hose. They are made with the twisting quarter return and the cause of the bevel lugs to interlock while the both of the types can be made with the broken quick and the advantage being we're able to couple with the neighboring fire department. Hoses may be lost, reducing the five part of the couplings are often on three inches of the hose and it can be uh, usable and interchangeable to two and a half inches of hose. Smaller waterway can be caused by the reduction does not affect this performance because the length of the small waterway is very short and jet and venture effect is created except for the reducing of the feature in the construction that there are similar same NST and NST screw type. The features of a swerve type coupling, the NST standards specifically specify the number of threads per inch. Um, the shape of the dimension of the threads of the use of the hitch hitch be cut with the later with the consistency cutting the blunt end of the first head thread of the positive star is made with engaging the threads of the preventing the crossing threads into the result of the short blank end of the end of the cu of each coupling helps to align the threads of the reduce the chance of the damaging threads of the coupling drop the Higgaby thread indicated in figure two twelve. It's not cut. It's not cut into one lug to show the position of the Higgaby cut. The lining with the thread indicator of the both couplings there are deep enough to be felt with the gloves and threads so that it will engage the first turn. All right. Um. Here shows your 211. Shows your NSC couplings. The snap and the quarter turn and the reducing. Um. Figure 212 is your Higgaby indicator. Um. D materials brass alloys commonly used for the coupling. They may be made of aluminum alloys, aluminum malleable iron, iron rust, or pure, pure aluminum. While light is easily damaged, various aluminum oils or alloys are lighter than brass and how hold, hold up well in service more than more than expensive, more iron, but are more expensive. Lugs, figure 213, they are provided with the coupling and the grip of the obtained with the wrenches and then they call the wrenches and spanners to assist the breaking of the couplings on one of the, on the rugged line and fabric hose of the rock lubber, either the two or three lugs that normally the consisting of the round ears, rounder, rounded ears with the provide with a good gripping of the source of the wrench and tend to slide, slide, slide over the obstruction as a hose laid the couplings and with the pin lugs. Dotted um, navy tape, navy type of the lugs, not in the forestry type of the shape of the bee. Also, be used the pin type of the lug. Catch up the obstruction on each end of the hose bed. Should let slot and nut type of the slit. Slot and nut type of couplings are satisfactory, but the rocker lug is, is being suited with the use of the different type of spanners and provided with a better grip within making hand tight connections. Making and breaking the coupling is normally unnecessary when using the better booster hose. There are couplings with the hose holes um, for the use of the special boosters. Hose and spanners are usually used. These uh, have no protection and to catch objection, obje objects. Hard and soft, sl soft sleeves and other, on the other hand, are carried rather than drag. Must be made up with each of the type of the sleeve. Is used there, usually equipped with the long, long handled lugs and facilities making them breaking in the couplings. Uh, F, meaning F, means of attaching the hose. The most common means of attaching the hose to the hose. Um, figure 2, figure, figure 213 shows, um, A, the three rocker lug, B, the two rocker lug, D, the pin lug, C, the booster type, and E, the long handled type of the for use with with sleeves. All right, figure 214 shows a belt hook, a highlight, hammer head, spanner center, lug claw, uncoupling center, lock, lock, lock claw, pry heel, fulcrum, gas cock, slot, and window jimmy. Figure 215 with the expansion ring of the ductile brass ring with a coupler. A ductile brass ring of collar is placed inside the hose. The coupling is placed with over the hose and the ring and they expand with the, under the greater pressure to force the hose. The jackets against the corrugated with the interface of the coupling. The couplings can be reused in extraction and expansion of the ring of the using um an, using a new one. The means with attaching the coupling screen sleeve is also used by the method of coupling with shell slips uh, over the hose jacket of the sleeve containing a, one um, the male the threads and the female swivel the threads from one end double threaded section on the other end and screwed of the hose. 
into the hose forced against the shell with the couplings withstanding the greater water pressure puppling pull of the hose the expansion ring of the type of these are often made of most of the use of the booster hose and through available use of the hose up to two and a half inches of diameter the special key of the wrench that are used to attach the couplings which can be removed the reuse of the unit screwing in the sleeve of the third mesh means involving the slipping and the coupling slip shell with threads and swivel threads um, over the hose and jackets inserting the red tap sleeve and pulling up the shelf Pulling on the shelf to reuse the shell and is driven back up the tampered sleeve. G making cup making up couplings couplings particularly on the rubber line of the fabric hose must be made up quickly making up the connection couplings involving two actions aligning the hose and the coupling with the connection in line with the, th the threads. The hose is being um, loaded with the house bed. Additional step to checking the present presence of the gasket into the female coupling bowl is taken to making the uh, coupling. The hose is aligned so that the flat sides of each length are approximately the same length. Next to the couplings are aligned so that the threads engage the couplings and are held straight, steady and the threads engage for the operation of the swivel of the female coupling. All right. Um, figure 215 shows attaching the coupling to the hose. A coupling attached with the hose expansion ring. Coupling attached with the hose with the screw swivel. Coupling attached with the hose with a tappered sleeve. Um, on, on one, on one M and M coupling procedures, making up the coupling is normally one man operation. The female coupling is picked up with one hand on the swivel of the house is brought across with the right and left, the hip of the feet spread of the comfortable way apart. The hose is held against the hip of the fore, with, of, with the forearm. The male coupling is held with one of the hand, the female coupling with the other. The coupling are aligned with the manipulating the swivel on the female coupling to engage the threads and alternate method is aligned with the hose and the couplings are on the ground. The firefighter face the couplings and feet spread, spread crumbs are conformably, comfortably with one foot with a hose directly behind the male coupling. This will tilt the coupling at the same time and the hold hold it in <coughs> hold it into position. <coughs> those with the those with the female coupling is brought to the male coupling with the threads engaged for the operating of the swivel. The method is not practical in deep snow and mud of similar condition. The swivel is rotated with the counterclockwise and the clovel click is heard. The threads are engaged with the rotating of the swivel in the opposite direction. If the coupling can be contains a higgaby thread indicated with the lines up with the natural lugs and rotate with the clock, clockwise direction. Two, two, two man, two man coupling procedures. The two man coupling procedures can be easy. Each grasping the coupling with the holding of the hose with that using against the hip of the one one of the forearm. Um, the man in the male male cup, the man with the male cu coupling, holds the coupling so that the other man can align the female coupling with one hand and operate. Op operate the swivel while the other has engaging the th uh, thus engaging the threads. Couplings are made only only hand type because the hose is constructed so that when it's charged with the water water twist and tightens the coupling, the couplings are tightened with the wren with wrenches and the gasket may be flattened with the, they protrude with the water wave with a particular restriction. The flow of water with it also damages the gas kit. The last step of the making all the couplings to give the sharp of the choice and the snap of the, all the threads to sent uh, seat home with a good gasket. The results of water tight connection gaskets are checked and removed from them from the female swivel the flexor will be between the thumb and the forefinger of the fat they they, they they bring in the flat position that are usable if not it should be replaced do not leave the couplings without in without a gasket if a gasket must be replaced do as soon as possible if the female swivel is on the hose current coupling continues to swivel after a couplings couples are tight and the threads have um, not been seated with a complete would require the would require further adjustment h breaking coupling couplings are usually all right um Couplings are usually broken in the same way where the made or ma made by hand or in the process of alarm should the muscles are used um, not with the fingers and the span of wrenches that are you shown with the figure two nineteen um and uh uncouplings that cannot be broken with the, by hand with the, and fingers are extended but the shown in figure two nineteen to prevent injury from coupling breaking loose and spanners spanner slips. All right. Um, shows the making of make a mark, mark, making a um, coupling on the one uh, and uh, alternate method of making a coupling uh, and two men making a coupling and two and two eighteen checking the condition of the gasket two nineteen uh, using spanners to break break the couplings um, two twenty using a rubber mallet to tighten the couplings and and drafting. 
Coupling and sleeve drafting. Hand tightening the connection is usually surface with the coupling hose, but connecting sleeve with the drafting booster hose will require tightening with the tool and drafting an operation. Hard sleeve might be must must be ab- um, airtight with this done using wood and rubber mallet as shown in figure 220. The rubber mallet using a rubber mallet to tighten the couplings for drafting. Um, five, J. Avoiding damage of the coupling. The damage of the coupling is usually resolved with allowing dropping uncoupled couplings, dragging uncoupled couplings. Excessive strain or pulling of the pressure on the hose line, grit and dirt in the, in the swivel of the bones, but the swivel of the female couplings, the dirt couplings must be washed with water with a mildly detergent usually, oil and grease only increase with the possibility of picking up more dirt. Crossing the couplings made by heavy vehicles, 2-9, nozzles. Nozzles and devices regulate the amount of velocity formed the water released from the hose for the following of the different types of nozzles used by the firefighters. A, the fog, no to fog, fog and spray nozzle that normally consists of the fog type with the controlling shut off at the normal size of the plate pipe and with handle uh, making the controlling of the nozzle a little easier than with the fog spray and nozzle break up the water stream the particular water which covered the large area to increase the heat absorption capability of uh, um Water the fo- fog nozzle should maybe produce a fixed fog pattern. The pattern may be adjustable from the straight seam stream when it's not solid stream to a wide angle to form, from nearly 180 degrees. The angle for the fog seam approximately angle to form with one end of the stream to another. Um, the figure 22 nozzle is a sample of available discharge and the almost the constant volume of the water fog patterns are charged. Charge, Change other than discharge varying volumes of water depending on the pattern. Still, other than as selectors to change the volume of the discharge, the discharge remaining almost constant with the pattern changing in a given set, setting. All right, um, figure 221 shows the high test of velocity fog. A stream A shows the uh, stream deflected from a baffle, B shows an impegging impeg- stream. Um, through C sends a central type, central type figure, and there's the different streams above the um, nozzles. Figure 22 shows the measuring angle of the fog stream in about 30 degrees. Um, 30 degrees. All right. Um, B solid stream nozzle. The solid stream nozzle. The figure 223 now only consists of the open type of the controlling shut off of the play, pi- play pipe with the handles with the making of the containing controlling the nozzle. Ease of the volume of the water discharge with the gain of impression depending on the size of the tip. The tips are usually dis- interchangeable to obtain the different volume discharge. This is an aid of the water type and water supply, which will not provide the effective steam of the large size tip. The purpose of the solid steam no- solid steam nozzles is to project the water and so that, that it will travel the distance, will penetrate. The loose and the porous material effectiveness of the nozzle depending on the smooth and surface of the tip. So careful, so care must be taken the dr- not to drop or otherwise, um, otherwise de- or damage the di- tip. Design of the solid streams nozzle producing thrustward, backward nozzle and hose when reused is important not to be not to, is important to be used prepared for the recreation and when used the type of the nozzle. All right, see so combination nozzle. The combination nozzle figure 524 has both a fog tip and a solid stream tip of the controlling of the shut up of the position, both the fog stream and the solid stream operation, as well as the off position. It should not be used with electrical flammable liquids of the fire because the whole handling must this accident shifted with the solid stream's position. Figure 223 shows the solid stream nozzle. Figure 224 shows the com- combination nozzle. D applicators. An applicator figure 225 the connect consists of the controlling shutoff of the pipe at the 2 to 10 feet long, often bent at 45 to 90 degree angle at the tip of the end of the tip, of which may be bent in the solid stream, high velocity fog, or low velocity of fog type. 1. Low velocity of fog type, the, mis- the most impinging stream nozzle of the head of the figure 2525 in which the stream joins the outside of the head, the producing the clog fog. Of a flowered vicinity of the type that is compared with the fog steam, which projects out from the tip. Two and three, two, the puncture nozzle, the pointed with a hardened steel nozzle, the nozzle can be driven through the walls and siding into the material and ballad fibers. And places provided with the near the base of the puncture nozzle so that they can be driven with a flathead axle similar to the similar tool. Um, all right, shows uh, figure 520 shows the low, low velocity fog tip applicator with a low velocity fog tip applicator, low velocity fog tip. Figure 527 shows the partial not partial nozzle for rotating distributors. Figure um, figure 28, 520, figure 228 shows the rotating distributor, rotating distributor and op- operation. Figure um, 226 shows the puncture nozzle. 
Um, three, partial, partial nozzle. Partial nozzle discharges a solid stream at a 90 degree angle of the pump pipe in the direction of the stream control, but the handle of the partial nozzle often pointed with projection near the tip of the aid, pushing into the wall through the material through which the driven ends are more light and limited through the puncture nozzle. E distributed in salary pipe. The distributor consists of swivel arrangement of the straight type of the plug tip. The reaction of these tips caused with the swivel head with the rotated quickly. This throttle swivel creates um, spherical pr um, pattern around with the disrupted distributor. It is useful. The attacking fires cannot be reached on by other means before the device is, uh, is put to operation. Control shutting off must be placed in the line so the distributor can be shut down by removing it. To the cellular pipe. A cellular pipe in figure um, 229 consists of a short pipe with one or two tips um, and levers controlling the direction of the stream. And the stream cellular pipes are used in the same manner as the distributors and have greater reach. They are requiring control sweat off and like other distributors. So figure 229 shows a cellular pipe. Well, the cellular pipe in operation. Uh, master ma ma master stream device is basically a master stream device that consists of a semi sem 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 siamese or manifold the arrangement of the collecting water with more than one line over the hose mechanically directing the stream and the nozzle tip tips are removable from the proper type the size can be used with a particular situation and use the a length of the pipe of the stream stream strainer is used with the solid stream to if it contains the baffle and the veins for the keep of the large volume of the water the swirling the raking of the stream a monitoring nozzle is used from the ground and it can be mounted with the for use for the engine the del deluge and the older version of the monitoring nozzle consists of separate parts of the joint but the large diameter of the hose is normally in Mounted with the in, on the engine because of the rotation worn line would be limited with a deck pipeline mounted with the engine connected directly to the pump and the pumping pump and the piping. It may be connected with the semis unless it's mounted with the permanently on the engine of the truck. The ladder the pipe is attached to the area load ladder. It, it supplies the larger diameter hose with the Siamese on the ground with the, some of the later pipe that is mounted with the permanently on the bed section of the aerial ladder. All master stream devices will control the upper and vertical direction of the stream. The monitor nozzle and deck pipe that has been horizontal di um, direction control as well. Same ladder to pipes and D-lounges um, set. Have controls and permanent ladder, limited um, horizontal movement of the stream. A ladder pipe shall be moved horizontally with the rotating the ladder to avoid placing of a dangerous stress on the on the on the ladder. G sprinkler heads on um, heads on the sprinkler system in Figure 231. Strictures acts as metering device. The general give advantage for the applying of the water fire air without sending men into it. The fire department must su um, supply such a system with a hose line from engines to ensure the adequate volume of the pressure on the water of the water. 210. Devices with control with control flow. F the following inline inline valves which will control the f flow of the water through the hose line. Belt ball valve. The ball valve figure 232 consists of a housing with a coupling of the ball with a waterway with the middle and a handle to um, 230 of the main master stream devices monitoring nozzle D loud set and dr C direct deck pipe D ladder pipe 231 shows the sprinkler head discharge. Um, 232 shows the device with the control val flow valve, a ball valve, gate valve, rotating baffle valve, butterfly valve. The um, ball valve turn the ball in most of the models. When the handle is turned in line with the hose line, the valve is open. With the turn the handle at the right angle, the hose line at the right angle is to R2 open the position and rotates the ball and shut off the valve. The earlier versions of the, have a cylinder in place for the ball. Gate valve. The gate valve has a hose coupling with a bat with a, a hose coupling and a baffle and solid plate, which is operated with the handle screw arrangement. Turning the handle moves the baffle down into and up to or or, or up to of the waterway. The butterfly valve. Sorry, that was the gate valve. Sorry, gate valve. A butterfly valve with the figure 233 keystone valve that consists of the housing couplings and the baffle place will connect to the quarter turn handle. It operates the same way as the ball valve, except for the flat baffle instead of the ball with the water wave form to be shut, shut off. The chief and the advantage of the butterfly valve is the easy maintenance and repair. D, the rotating baffle valve. Rotating baffle valve it consists of two baffles. Each with two ni open 90 degree segments turning the baffle into the line up with one segment with those in the second and one opens the valve. Turning the line into the one segment and with the close the segment into the second valve closes it. The type is always known as the gizmo.
So you got your gizmo, your rotating baffle valve. Um, 211 devices in the combine is divided flow. The following are the combining with the dividing with the devices are used in the fighter. The Ys are devices of hose line, two line lines in the same smaller size. The issue control valve, the gate of the ball valve, this is known the gate of the Y. The, um, most of the controlling valve Ys today are manufactured with ball type valves. If the Y divides in a line in smaller lines, is called with the reducing Y, gated reducing Y. The gated reducing Y, which is provided with the two and a half inch hose with the two and a half, two one and a half inch lines, very common, you know, very common. Common. Um, figure 233 shows the combining of the dividing devices. A Y semi, some semi, um, Siamese water, water, th water thief, and a four-way switch valve. The Siamese is a Y-shaped connection. Connection was combined the two or more hoses within a single line with the same of the large hose properly with joined with the two and a half inch intake lines with a single two and a half inch outlet lines without in any other heavy stream appliances. Semi, uh, semi. Sem sem Siamese may have a swinging chick valve to ensure that the water may not flow back through any of the line inlets are then called clapper valve Siamese. They maybe have the gate of the ball with the call of the gate Siamese. Uh, Siamese that combines with the two or four small lines in a singular line, larger line known as an increasing Siamese. The gate of the increasing Siamese often carried large Siamese in an inlet a pump line, a pumping engine also known as suction Siamese. All right, your water thief. A water thief in Figure 233 has a two and a half inch inlet with a two gated one and a half inch discharge, as well as a two and a half inch discharge, which may may not have the controlling valve that is used for the taking the short act lines into two and a half inch or B three uh, B inch because of supply lines. Four-way switch valve. The four-way switch valve is used to hook up the supply line to the hydrant. The permanent hooking up to the pumping of the engine to the hydrant later, without shutting down the supply, with increasing the water supply, water pressure supply line. This is done by moving the single rotator two baffles, depending on the design of the valve, so that the path of the water is changed with the supply line to the engine in the back through the supply line. All right, 212 adapters of the coupling. Adapters are used in coupling hose, but they cannot be um, joined because of the difference of the coupling size of threads or the fact that they're both male and both are male or female. The adapter, true adapters, be, um, permit the joining of the couplings with unlike threads. Right, rigid adapter, adapter short tube with one type of the thread on the female end, the other type of the male end. The adjusting adjustable adapter, such as the universal automatic type, that normally have male coupling thread of the matches the department of standard thread for the one side of the tooth teeth on the other of the teeth adjusting the over, over the male housing and coupling either the spring back action the manual lever operating and engaging the male thread and the twist of the housing coupling tightening of the connection and d the reducers um the inc and increase of the reducers increases are used in joint different size with the couplers that reduce the rigid adapter large three male thread with one end of the smaller size male thread on the other end um, the increaser is rigid, adapted to small female, large male, threaded double female reducers equipped with a swivel smaller and each uh, used in the sleeves. Um, figure eight, figure, two, eight, two, figure three, 234 shows the autom adjustable adapters um, and figure 235 shows the an educator. 213 educator is a device that introduces the liquid power of the water stream of the jet and the ventricle effect. The waterway coming from the ed 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 educator, reduce it, um, educator reduces the size of the normal of the nozzle, which is directed with a large opening with the discharge side. The action of this jet um, creates the siphon except effect, which is used in the pickup of the foam and a liquid chemical foam powder and other chemicals added with the stream. Specially designed with the siphon, educators are used and should be picked up with the water and pump cannot be should and not be used to draft of water directly. 214 tools. The following are the major tools used in aid of the work of the use in hosing. Add appliance. The tools of the working with the hose and appliance tools, which add working with the hose and appliance, which includes the spanner wrenches and the hydrant wrenches, the drafting sleeve mallets, the spanner at white wrenches, and are used for the breaking of the couplings. Um, figure 236 shows the hydrant wrench and the rubber mallets, the straps, ropes, holders. With the exception of the drafting sleeve, they are made with the hand old tight, hand tight with a hand hydrant wrench. The figure two thirty six um, consistent consists of the long handled bench box wrench or some type of the adjustment of the box to permit these. It's used the hydrant operating with a different size. The some have the, to permit with the spanners. The hydrant the wrap wrench is used to um, remove the hydrant into the operate with the hydrant operating with which the controls the flow of water. The hydrant is also used to operate with the valve. The some mo models in four ways which valve the adjusting full pipe wrench is not normally used in turning the hydrant operating the nut because of the damage of the nut. It is used. However, the hydrant is damaged with the missing nut. Must be 
used to edifier the and the hydrant must be repaired anyway. The drafting sleeve and the mallets have a hard rubber and wooden um, head. They are used to heat tap the couplings and the draft sleeves to secure that they are airtight. So the mallets must be used in restraint to avoid damaging couplings. Couplings. All right, B, tools of moving, securing hose line. Tools which may add or secure hose lines, including hose trap, the roof, rope hose tools, the hose, the hose hose holders, the hose hoist roller, and the hose, host, hose holder is a device which clamps around the hose line. This uh, this has a line with the threaded, threaded in it behind with the nozzle that enables one man to control the hose line discharge. Um... At a large volume water directly to the back of the thrust and nozzle reaction against the round. The hose hoist and the roller uh, roller is used at the bearing of the hoist uh, hole hose the tools of the roof and the upper floor. Um show the strap, the roll rope, and the holder. Alright, tools for protecting and repairing of the hose and couplings. Tools to protect and provide emergency repairing of the hose and couplings include um hose jackets, hose ramps, Chaffling blocks. The hose jacket is not confused with the fabric jacket hose. The metal device consisting of two half cylinders hinges on one end of the latch of the other, which does not um, permanently repair faulty hose. But it repairs leaky, intended to prevent additional damage to the hose. Effective with the water pressure on a hole or tear. The hose of the jacket can also be used in the joint lengths of the hose, and the effective distance made of the different couplings and placing the coupling and jackets. All right. D hose clamps. Several kinds of the hose clamps that are available to general use are lever operated with devices, latches, screw, and gate um, types of the hydraulically operated. Figure 238 shows a, shows a hose hoist. Um, 230, 239 shows the using a hose jacket and the little. Um, 240. Um, I'll work on the principle of using the mechanics forcing the compressing of the jacket to the, to the hose together with the stop of the flow of water and the line operate the lever type open the clamp place the hose line between the jams that either lift up the press down on the lever ratchet type of the latch hold the jaws in closed position to release the stand clear of the lever hold it down and dr dr um, down, down upon it securely release the latch release the lever slowly then the lever may tend to quick kick out with some force when the latch is released the screw down of the gate the type is operated with the place of the hose in the jaws. Operating the gate with a gate valve, the hydraulic hose of the clamp is also used in placing the hose in the jaws, seating the selector to close the wrench end of the operating handle with the inserting the handle in the pumping lug, the pumping of the jaws and close the release of the clamp, turning of the selector, opening public, which push the jaws to the following open position. 215 ladders. Ladders are virtual, vital during an emergency when every second of the factor towards the success, failure, operation, firefighters must know oh, and proper procedure carrying and raising and climbing ladders so thoroughly that they can do that, them almost by habit. For every procedure will be established in mind of the trainings constantly. And the practice is essential maintained, but the degree of deficiency continuously training should be, be, be carried to make on the operations of the automatic possible. Um, a, the standard letter using the army consists of a solid beam center to send cylindrical rung set in center of the um, of the beam following the terms that commonly apply with the ladder, the bed ladder, the lower section, the extending ladder, the fly ladder, the top section of the extension ladder, the butt, the ground of the end of the ladder, and the heel of the extreme ground end, end of the ladder, the hill yard or fly rope using the raising of the fly in the paw or the dog, the mechanical me uh, mecha mechanism for lowering the end of the fly, which locks the bed and ladder to the heel portion of the portable ladder should be equipped with um, cleats and non-skid fo um, footers all right figure 240 shows hose clamps gate valve le lever operated hydraulic type Be the most common ladder is an Army firefighting standard, the 35-foot ladder extension ladder. And an extension ladder consists of a bed ladder and one more fly ladder. The fly ladder siding with the guides at the upper end of the body by a bed ladder contains the locks in which the hook over the rungs of the bed ladder is secured in the position with the desired length of the ladder. The fly is usually raised with a halyard fastened lung or runging operating over the pulley and upper end of the bed. And the 24-foot extension ladder is commonly found with the pump. It. 
All right, straight letters, walls, um, walls, ladders can contain one section. They usually wore, wore from 12 to 16 feet long. The most common size of the straight ladder is 14 feet length. The roof ladder is the wall, wall ladder adapted for a special purpose. The roof ladders have hooks and mounted with a movable socket. And the permit the hooks and to fold the inward and when not in use, placing the hooks over the roof of the speak. Peaks and sill walls, the co co copying um, and opening makes the ladder safe and reliable even with the butt. It does not it may rest on the foundation. The roof of the ladder may be used as the wall of the ladder, but when uh, hooks that are set with non do not extend with the ladder. Being the roof ladder is used with the pitch of material roof of the roof, bed, weather, and danger of the men moving over it with a valuable climbing of the peak of the gables, whether the removal of the roofing and materials to the cut the holes, ventilation, extinguishment. It may be used to in enter the scuttle. Holes and cut the flooring of the sidewalk op openings in one in installation. Whether the building is more of the three story high, special 50 foot um, um, banger ladders may be necessary. The ladders may be either strategically located in an area that are to be used sent in these scenes with the fire mounted with special equipment. The larger ladders require m uh, more teamwork when they are two man ladders and to replace the raised with lower than quickly and efficiently. 216 rope is indispensable combating fires. Um, most likely widely used um, type of the rope, the hand line. The hand lines are used for the hoisting of the tools on the various floors of the, of the structure, anchoring the ladders, charge of the hose lines, and the other accessory stationary objects. Headlines for the hosting. Anchoring should be either with a 5 eighths of an inch or an and, uh a a a eight inch or a rope of 100 foot length, with an eyes placed in one end of the quickly using the hand lines to be coiled within such a manner that the pays without the tangling, even when the drops are top of the bull building. All right, uh, coiling hand line. A coiling hand line is a framework containing with the two vertical posts about 14 inches high and 25, in 25 inches apart and set apart with the rope. It's first wrapped it several times horizontally around the upper right post of the wrap around it. The horizontal wrappings to secure the rope around the post. When the opposite end of these reach, the high horizontal pump of this pump pulled up from the coil of the free of the end of the rope should be folded, slipped up through the end of the coil. The free end of the way will then be slipped from the outside, opposite end of the coil through the loop. This pulls the loop lightly, um, loop tight. The loop should be made large enough for the coil to be large, loaded over the shoulder. Knots and hitches. Knots and hitches should be capable of quickly serve, and curly serve, severally intended purposes of being easily tied with the undone. Uh, untied darkness. The rope end ends should be um, whipped and tightly bounded to prevent fraying of the eyes. May be spliced, and both ends of rope to speed up the tying of the operation. Damaged rope should be replaced rather than spliced. Clove hitch. The clove hitch in Figure 243 should be used in the as you tie a line to the hand to a hand tool such as a pike pole or a clove. To the tie to the hitch tied to the object object will not slip with the properly tie. It should be. It should be tied near one end of the pole and single half of the hitch of the uh, end of the other. Our figure 241 shows a coiling in the handle, um, coiling in a hand line. Start at the coil end, enough to line the making it a making the tie um, truck coil, loop in the truck through the coil and passing the end with the clover hitch. Figure 243 shows a clove hitch. Um, Figure 240 shows, shows an eye splice. Um, half hitch. The half hitch of the figure 244, a loop of the rope, which is placed over the rope, and the um, object standing at the end of the rope exerts the constant strain of the loop, the running at the end of the skewer under the loop, and the order the main run of to another knot. The half hitch is used on, uh, with other knots to safety hitch and to give it an instability of objects that are being hoisted. Shimmer, chimney hitch. The chimney hitch is used when necessary to anchor the rope with the solid object, strengthen the position over the hand, and other objects, some of the charge hose, but the later with the chimney hitch and with the last slip, and the quickly, easily unitized. The knot is used when the strain on the rope is to be consistent, and the rope may be shortened and lengthened by slipping on the knot. Figure 244, 245 shows the chimney, chimney hitch. Figure 246 shows the two, way, two hoisting hitch. Figure 247 shows the square knot. The tool hoisting hitch, hoisting hitch. The tools um, are usually secured with at least two knots to hold them in a relatively stable position. Along the heavy tools are generally hoisted with a heavy end up. The tools are the hooks and sharp. The projections such as an axe are hoisted in the position in which they are not catched on the project. Um, not catch on the. Uh, 
projection ledges. G is square knot. The square knot in figure 247 is um, use the tie ends of the equalized to get size rope. All right, a bow line. Um, the bow line is the figure 248 is the knot that will not slip and easily quickly untie the issues to form a loop on the end of the line. And the bow line on the bite, well, on a bite, bite is usually made for the rescue purposes. Beckett band, a Beckett band in figure 250 is used to connect the ropes on an unequal diameter. All right, this shows the overhand loop and the up through the second stranded, uh, up, up through uh, around the back and back down. Through the loop is a bow line. Figure 249 shows the bow line in a bite. Um, this is actually using two and a bite. The Beckett band, band section five for fire extinguishers.